to be there. Everyone. Hi guys. So here's Sentina, but as usual, give me 30 seconds because I'll just post that link in the event to make sure people can come. That's on his Facebook actually. So um, she clicked on my link um, on my story before. Just yeah, follow it, find it. But yeah, otherwise just stay here and listen to us. Yeah, it's all about how I got to where I am these days. And yeah, he's going to ask me some questions. Mm. Mm. And so, yeah, people can ask questions on the Facebook live, but also on Instagram. Yeah, on so my I'm Instagram. On Facebook. Yeah, you will <laughs> watch it on look, his Facebook. And hey, I will not be able to wave back. So if you guys, you wave me. Mm. It's just a communal wave now on everyone. Um, yeah, see what he's going to ask me. Oh, yeah. What are you going to ask me, Alex? Yes. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Andras. Hi, Andras. So, hi, guys, and welcome to the ninth episode of Dreamers and Doers, Ooh, where I interview you. Santina, who's That's here. That's me. <laughs> Instagram influencer. And, yeah, so I interview people who live kind of a new way to live, yeah, and being uh, living off being a personal brand, your know, personal brand and Instagram influencer is something I think some people can be really interested in. So thanks, Santina, for being here. No worries. Thanks for having me. And I'll add uh, something because like now I'm posting quite a lot on social media and people can see me <laughs> quite a lot on social media, but actually seven or eight months ago, I wasn't like this. And I think it's because I could see how much you were posting and yeah. how much you were like doing your thing without caring too much about what people think. I well, think that's yeah. amazing. So, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for At least the I know inspiration. I, yeah, good. good to know I influence people in a good way and not yeah. just yeah. Yeah, posting my bikini shots. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so to start with, oh yeah, thanks, Andras. Yes, we are two amazing <laughs> dreamers. <laughs> and to we start, love you. <laughs> to start with, yeah, I'd be really interested to know uh, how you got started because like when you got started and how um how did I actually get started um it's kind of like a slightly not a long story but like I started off with 16 um taking pictures my dad actually gave me um his camera and he was like here have it it's yours and I was like cool I have my own DSLR camera my first one and so I'm taking pictures so I grew my first platform it was called like netlock that okay. time it actually was exactly the same thing as Instagram, just okay. on um, desktop version, not on the app. So when was that? That was when I was 16, actually. So okay. 10 years ago. Okay. Um, I was quite big on that platform. So it was more European based, more so it's mm. in Germany. Um, we would like also do these kind of like Instagram meetups, but more network, Facebook based. So we'd go mm. and take pictures together and do all these things. Um, did it then for like two years, quite a lot. And I gave it up for some reason. Mm. I stopped. Just. Um, I don't know why anymore. I just stopped. Uh, okay. I think I lost the passion for it. And then I moved to Australia and yeah, I put my, I, I, I took everything with my camera with me and all my camera equipment. But then, um, yeah, it was like in the cupboard for like so long. I literally just started taking pictures again, like half a year. Mm. And I think mainly it was the reason as well. I didn't really start Instagram till like one and a half years ago. Okay. Um, didn't start it before because of my ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He was kind of against it and said, like, oh, if you do it, you're just going to cheat on me, blah, blah, all these things. So mm -hmm. I didn't do it, So which is kind of stupid. I should have just done it. As you're saying now, like, I don't really care anymore what other people think mm -hmm. about me. I just want to be me and inspire who I am and what mm -hmm. I do. And, yeah, then it kind of started rolling. Like, a model agency picked up on me here in Australia, and I was like, we want you to be in our books. And I was like me i'm like not tall enough i'm not skinny enough yeah, kind of thing yeah. started doing it i had a job for mcdonald's which was kind of fun um and then yeah it just started rolling like i got a really good community going with like photographers i went down um, with the thrill seekers called this mm -hmm. time um big shout out to like claire and nicholas cole they kind mm -hmm. of were the main reason i started it they invited me to and rowan chestnut as well to like a trip to the Dunes, uh, stuff mm -hmm. and dunes, and then yeah, from there was kind of history. Yeah, that's cool. And how, how many followers do you have now? Um, now I'm at 20,900. Unfortunately, okay. I dropped down, okay. yeah, from 23,000. I was ah. like, damn it, <laughs> 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 it's only numbers, but it's like, yeah, bloody numbers. <laughs> and do you fully live from, from it? 
Yeah, I can fully say since January this year, um, okay. I don't do anything else. Okay. Instagram is my main income, so that's all okay. I do. I do photography, filming for clients. Um, I shoot stuff, content just for my um, Instagram, just for clients. Yeah, different kind of. Okay. Gigs I get. And, and you get like yeah, paid by brands to post their products. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So people either send me their products. Um, mm. Or they invite me to events and I take shots there. People text me via Instagram, via Facebook, send me emails. Others mm. are just like apps like Van Tribe or Brands now for the right mm. fit where you can apply for jobs. And people are like, yep, yeah, we like your face or we like your Instagram and they want to work with you. And then, mm. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. You get paid for your work, which is cool. Mm. And, and I feel like it's something you can build upon, like, you know, if you have a regular job, you have your job. If you lose it, you don't have, well, you have experience, but like here you have something you can, can just increase, I feel. So it's... Yeah, it's a good platform. It's like you start off saying like, I started off with just not just, it always sounds like if I say just, I don't know, it's just in the thing I say, um, just being an influencer, but there's so much work behind. Like people are yeah. like, oh, you're an influencer. It's so cool. Like you're always at the beach or cafe, coffee shops. Mm. I'm like, I wish, like, if you would actually see my day nine to five kind of job, um, it's not just being okay. that kind of so, beachy vibe. Okay, so. so we'll go on the real picture of being an influencer. Yeah, um, I'll be real because picture. I guess people have that very <laughs> <It's exhausting. laughs> yeah, that very ideal thing, as you said, like oh, I'm at the beach, I take a photo, and cling, <laughs> you know. I so, wish, so, yeah. so, I, wish how I, is it, I guess it's quite good. That's why you you, you like it and mm. you do it. And what's like what's what you really like, what's amazing, and what are the struggles to you? Um, I love because it's like you connect with so many people. It's like I'm basically like met you, I met others. Um, like I could name a hundred people just because of Instagram. I would have mm -hmm. never met these people, and mm -hmm. I ca can call them like my best friends now. They became a family here in Australia as well. I've connected with brands I would have never thought I would ever even work for. Okay. Like last week I got like posted on Vogue Australia yeah, and I was yeah, like cool. me? Like yeah. Jesus, I would have never thought of like worked with Birkenstock Australia, which mm -hmm. is like my favorite shoe brand. I worked with Ducati Australia in New Zealand, which is my favorite um, motorbike brand since I can think. Like my dad will put me as a little kid on like his back of his motorbike which is a Ducati and okay. I, was, I was like I want to have one but it's like it's like the bright it's a, side it's like the it's an exciting life like yeah it's a it's a 24 7 job so yeah. that's um it's the kind of job you can't just leave it's like not the nine to five job you don't go there at nine you leave at five it's the you get up and you check your phone mm. and you start working in your bed which is kind of mm. Sometimes weird. Sometimes it feels like, actually, oh my God. Actually, I have a question on this. Oh yeah, is, I worked with I... up in cinematography. It's my friend, Jock Swan. He's amazing. He just got a haircut today as well. Oh, nice. So it doesn't look like Jesus anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blossom Bottom is actually a really good brand. They're all for sustainability. Mm. So they just brought out this um, bag mm. that I'm supporting. Um, you will see it soon on my Instagram. It's such a pretty bag. And, and so you went... Talking about working in your bed, working 24 7. Mm. So, my next question is actually Hey, do Monica. You, <laughs> do you sometimes disconnect? Because, like, there's always that risk if you work all the time, you get the pressure of time like, to never step back and, like, to end up, I don't know, being um, a bit overwhelmed. So, do you take some times when you're like, okay, during one day, I won't have my phone? Or are you always on? Um, I just saw this guy, like, actually told me download moment it's an app that monitors oh, your screen yeah. time i will actually do that i'm i have been wondering how much time i'm spending on my phone probably way too much so yeah. <laughs> maybe i don't want to download it and don't want to know it um disconnecting it's horrid yeah it's a it's something that makes you as bad as this probably sounds it makes me shake it makes me like i'm gonna miss out i'm gonna lose followers yeah. i'm yeah. gonna lose engagement i'm gonna lose my job because if I don't do it, nobody does my job. So if mm. I don't work, mm. there's no one else that doing my job. But I actually um, took nearly one month off just recently okay. because I started feeling too burned down. I started feeling like I'm running in a circle and not getting anywhere. Like just do constant run, constant run. Mm. I'm like, I'm going to get spit out of this 
whole game and I need something that keeps me going with running in a circle. Mm. But um, yeah, so I stopped posting, but I kept the Instagram stories alive because I felt like I still wanted to connect with people, but not in a, yeah, I just couldn't like post every day anymore. Mm. And for me, it's like I either post every day or I don't post at all because I want to have to consistent. I want to give good content and not just post for the sake of it, of yeah, posting. Yeah. Um, but bring, yeah, bring value. Bring value. Place. Yeah. I don't just want to be like, here, there's a pretty picture of me at mm. the beach. Here, there's a pretty picture of me at the cafe, but I'm not going to tell you a story about it. Mm. Um, so that's why I kind of stopped because I didn't really have the time or the energy of writing these captions because that's mm. what I'm kind of known for as well, yeah. that I tell a story. So, yeah. Yeah. So let's go into uh, how to, how to build, I think, yeah. which is linked, how to build an efficient, like a good following and which would be how to bring value to people, right? Because yeah. I guess when you say about, talk about like, stories and bring and yeah bringing value i guess it's not just like taking picture of yourself it's like having yeah why do people would follow you yeah so maybe you can give some advice to people who think about like oh i'd why like to have a, f a following but what can i bring to people yeah. i think as honest the more honest you are these days the better um because like yeah in case you wonder i touch my hair a lot when i do these live yeah. videos i don't know why <laughs> i think it's because there's a screen and i'm always like <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know what. maybe I should just have it in a bun next time so I can't really do that whole um, thing. In case my Instagram stops recording, I'm on 15%. So sorry, guys, I stopped, forgot to charge my phone. So sure. um, yeah, so with building your platform and why I got to where I am these days, it's like I think. I found this kind of not niche, maybe niche, um, as you can say, of like telling a story about mm -hmm. my life rather than just posting a picture of me mm -hmm. and not giving anyone anything. Like, it's not hard in a bad way said these days anymore to take a pretty picture of anyone, mm -hmm. Photoshop and put a lot of Lightroom um, yeah. presets on top of it and post them and make your feet look amazing. But there are a hundred other girls out there who yeah. can do this. Um, and, and why will you uh, follow a hundred girls in a bikini or a hundred girls posting about food or a hundred girls about posting about mm -hmm. this is what I'm wearing today? Like, and to be fair, that's why, like, probably a year ago, I had quite a bad image of Instagram. It's like, oh, my male mates were just following babes, and I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's good, but like, there's no. <laughs> It's not very unlikely. <laughs> yeah, it's like I had just like that conversation yesterday actually with one of my friends. He was like, um, I was on Instagram and scrolling and he's like, why am I following this girl? And then mm. I clicked on her page. I was like, there is nothing behind her. Like mm. maybe she has an awesome story, but she doesn't tell it on social media. Mm. So he's like, I'm just going to unfollow her because I don't want to follow just a girl because she's half naked. Because okay. he's yeah. like, I want to follow someone. I can go on and either be inspired by her pictures by the story she tells or the pictures she's taking. Mm. So they want more these days, more of like, who are you? Not mm. just how good can you look? And so yeah, Jock Swan saying, the key to social media is telling stories. Santina does this awesome. Oh, thank you, Jock. <laughs> I love you. So, so do you think that's why people follow you? It's because you're very genuine and authentic. Yeah. Yes. And, and, your, and your story maybe resonate with them? Do you think that'd be a good advice to give people? Yeah, I think, don't try to be anyone else, like be you, um, tell the people your struggles, tell the people what's awesome mm -hmm. in your life. So don't try to hide the dark side mm -hmm. because if you try to make it, social media look like it's just a fairy tale, mm -hmm. glitter, glittery world, um, you're going to burn out mm -hmm. at, in the long run as well. I've tried it. I've tried mm -hmm. to be like, no, I don't want to tell people like that my life is not just about going to the beach, going to a cafe, yeah, going yeah. on a holiday with... That's pretty boring to follow anyway. Someone's just like a yeah, but you kind of get this picture of um, bigger like social media influencers that that's all they do. And you feel mm. like, I want to be that person. I just want to get in a plane every day and travel the world. And you don't see the big picture. Like mm -hmm. you don't know how did that person actually get to Hawaii? Like mm. how did they make it work? You never see it. You always just see them like, 
getting on a plane, I'm going to Hawaii, I'm going to jump out of an airplane and be super cool. And then I go back to LA and then after that, I'm going to Europe. That's all you see. Yeah. Like you never see the struggles, which makes a lot of people, I think, anxious mm. and um, feel like they haven't made it or they're like losing or not winning because mm. they're not doing that thing. They don't see them, what the hustle is behind it to actually yeah. get to Hawaii or to London or wherever you want to go. Um, with my social media, I want to show people like, Today I'm having a bad day. I woke up and I feel yeah. like crap and I do not want to get mm. out of bed, but I have to because I want to work. I want to mm. keep building and I'm just going to take you through my day with like my struggles and either people like it or they don't. And I feel like I've grown more since I started to be more real and not mm -hmm. hiding my, my yeah. real face. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. um, mm -hmm. I have a question because you <laughs> talked about – um, not um, we talked about not caring too much about what people think yep. about you and I know for for myself it was I figured that it was quite a big deal like I didn't <laughs> want people to judge that much or to yeah. you know to be that vulnerable which I thought then was a bit. Uh, oh, you ridiculous. become vulnerable as soon as yeah. you're in life right now. It's like this is the most vulnerable thing you can go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, um, and so, yeah, about this, did you have, um, I don't know, people criticizing what you were doing or making fun of what you were doing, for example? I'm thinking, for example, if some people listen to this and are a bit scared of this, um, um, what were you, how did I you think feel about people's reaction and did you have bad ones? Or? Oh, I won't say bad, bad ones, like ones I will be like, oh my God, like made me want to quit Instagram. Mm -hmm. But like everyone gets these kind of comments of people like, oh my God, you're mm -hmm. fat. Look how ugly you are. Why are you mm -hmm. even doing this and stuff like that? And you're like, why would you even comment something like this underneath people's um, mm -hmm. pictures? Because like we all have feelings and we all, you don't know how I'm taking it. So like if you maybe text me something like that, how am I going to react to it? Like these days we have to be really careful about like what we pro project out there and like how we react with other people's as well. Mm. But also like with what I think, what other people think about me. Yes. Like if you see me now, um, I have grown a lot. Like if I would have seen me myself like 10 years ago, I would have never done this. I would have been like, yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> me going live talking to, X, Y, Z amount of people. No, thank yeah. you. I'm not doing this. People are going to judge me. People are going to be like, why are you wearing this? Why is mm -hmm. your hair not straight? Mm -hmm. Why are you not? Like I would ask myself all these questions and will feel vulnerable. Now I'm just like, I'm happy with who I am and what I'm doing yeah. and where I'm going. And either people love me for who I am mm -hmm. and follow me for that reason mm -hmm. or they're not, but then they're not my friends. And yeah. I don't really in a bad place I need to mm. care about these people mm. because not everyone needs to love me. Mm. So, yeah. but who does is great. So mm. yeah, that's just how I see it. And yeah, that's how I kind of made my life yeah. make, make it brighter. It's like kind of selfish it sounds, mm. but I think we, you have to be sometimes a little bit more selfish to be happier in life. Mm. Like as we just talked before about, you have to learn to say no, not because you don't want to see a friend or not because you want to do a certain thing, but you have to listen to your body more as well. Yeah. All these small little things. Mm. Yeah. And how about, um, how about, for example, people you know, like friends or even family, like do, was that, I don't know, for, for example, for myself, like uh, I can keep in mind what my good friends would think or even my parents, like if I do things yeah. like this, because it's a bit, you know, different than a normal career path. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was actually quite funny at the beginning. So my brother will be like, what are you doing? Stop posting pictures of you half mm -hmm. naked in like swimwear. Nobody needs to see that. Why are you doing this? And it's quite a struggle. Like when say like your brother or like your mm -hmm. family says things like that. My, my parents will just ask me like, do you really need to post something like this? Why do you need to post a botcha? Like mm -hmm. why can you not just post a picture of you? from the front or like in clothes, like why do you need to put that out there? Why do people need to see that? And I was, I was like, mom, look, it's not about me wanting to be like, oh, look at my butt. Mm -hmm. Like it was just more, 
I don't know. Like I train hard to like get the body I have. Like for me, it's more about I go to the gym, I train my ass off, mm. um, and then I want to be like to the people, look, shirt. this is like my <laughs> yeah, like where I got from. Like this was my running running body. This is where I was when I did like heavy lifting. This is when mm. I did CrossFit. This is how my body looks when I do this kind of diet. So I want to show, especially girls out there, to become more confident and like love your body rather mm. than hiding it and be like, oh no, I have cellulitis. I can't post a picture like this. It doesn't matter. Like mm. it's like you should just love yourself. And especially like, yes, if it's like the job I had, it was hard at the beginning to like tell you, like especially like older generation, like my parents or my mm. godmother or my uncles, and they will be like, what are you doing mm. are you actually working like it will be a constant like can you please do this or that for me and i'm like i'm working i'm actually working They're like what are you doing you're on your phone i'm like this is work yeah so like i had a big two probably big discussions with my parents but it was interesting to see like they started to understand it and they love it now like mm. my mom made even like her own instagram account she texts me back every day it's like oh my god i love your new coffee shop or like she texts me like what have you been doing there Mm. like she asked me all these things it's like it went from like they didn't know what it was so they were a little bit scared about me mm. putting myself quite vulnerable out there and then they like started to understanding and now mm. they're supporting it with like every fiber of their body and my dad is still kind of like man never just do like do your thing she's gonna get over it in a few months haven't gotten <laughs> over it yet dad i'm sorry <laughs> yeah it's funny I, I, have, uh, I have a few friends that, like this also when they have trying to do something entrepreneurial or something that yeah. the parents might think, oh, it's like, oh, they'll do that one year. Yeah, yeah, you, know? you will do it like one year. <laughs> get, back, get yeah. a real job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the real job thing is like, my mom, so I like, I graduated um, three weeks ago as so I studied um, UX design, which is mm. user experience. So yeah. I build websites and apps. So I'm not just, as some people say, the pretty face. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, I actually got... <coughs> Sorry, cold days today, so I And I was working out with Leah. She killed me nearly today at the gym. <laughs> so I feel like I need a nap <laughs> on top yeah. of this interview. Um, but not, not, not right now, <laughs> no. I promise I won't fall asleep. I'm like, this is boring. Good night. <laughs> no, I'm still here. Um, what was I saying? Where was I? Well, Damn it. I lost it. Um, because yeah, I, no, but like. Um, oh, but with the like people. Yeah. yeah. Jobs. Oh yeah, I had so many people yeah. being like, so I quit my job at And you said you were um, Yes. So I was working Yeah, so I was working like at H and M on the side first, mm -hmm. um, to kind of help myself to be able to pay rent here in Australia. Bloody yeah. expensive here in Sydney. Don't even know why you pay that much for like a shoe box sometimes. Um maybe because you live at the beach. Maybe. <laughs> But I heard it's still expensive outside in Parramatta, so I'm not moving there. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, quit that job and I was like, I'm just going to go full in. I, like I saved up a little bit of money um, to have that kind of sustainability in case I don't get work in the first few months or like it's not regular base. Um, yeah, but like I was always like, I'm going to try it. Like as long as I can make it, I will keep going for it mm. and um, work on it. Um, just one second. I'm actually going to stop the live stream on my Instagram because I'm on 5% so I can actually save it. In case you guys have any questions, just send me a message so you can keep seeing it. Um, thanks for streaming in and I love you all. Um, and I was looking, there were so many messages of people saying you were inspirational to them. So, yeah. I mean, that's all that matters. Right? Yeah, that's all that matters. Contribution. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's all that, like, that I'm striving for, like, to inspire people, basically. Yeah. So on Instagram, see you later, guys. Um, love you all, and bye. Turn my finger, share. So, I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to plug this in. Mm. Cool. Back again. Um, so, yeah, I quit my job at H&M one and a half years ago. Um, haven't looked back. I'm not going that back ever again to work nine to five. I'd rather just work my ass off mm. 24 seven Monday to Sunday um, to make it work. But um, also I think you need support. Like you need friends and family who believe in yourself. Um, or like believe in you, not in yourself. Like the environment is very important. I think here we're yeah. lucky in Bondi because there are a lot of people who actually 
don't have a real job. <laughs> yeah, like Bondi is great for it. Like since Sydney, I think it's a great place to start your own business because nobody's going to be like, oh, what? You don't do nine to five? He's like, oh, awesome. You don't yeah. do nine to five. If you tell people you do nine to five, they're like, oh, you're boring. I'm going to talk to that person over there. <laughs> Probably has the same work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that definitely. Um, uh, yeah, that's something I, I felt too is like people, they often don't look back. Like, I'm, no, I, no, I don't I haven't look looked back, back. Either, no. even if it's hard sometimes. Like, yeah, I don't mind the whole like getting up and lying in my bed and answering emails and doing these things. It's like, it's, it's awesome. Like, I, mm. I just went to Melbourne for um, five days, four days. I don't even know anymore. Okay. Probably days blended. <laughs> um, yeah, I went there for four days and it, like, yes, it felt like a holiday, but at the same time, I could still work. Like I took mm. my phone with me, my laptop and my camera. I still shot for like Blossom, Bottom, the guys I just said about the bag. Okay. Like I took that with me and just took a few snaps while I was over there in like the art gallery. Um, went with my friends to some cool restaurants and I could spend time with like my close uni mates like Victor and Hugo, who Victor just went back to Sweden forever, who would come back to do his last term. Um, and I just like, he was like, being like, oh, I say you at uni this week. And I was like, looking at him, like, nope. Mm-hmm. And he's like, what? And I'm like, oh, no, <clears throat> I'm done since like three weeks. Like I graduated. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then that was like one thing I kind of swerved off a bit. Um, so my mom was like saying like, so where are you going to apply now? Like, what are you going to do? And I'm like, mom, I got my own business. Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, but you graduated. So you're going to get a job mm-hmm. now? And I'm like, I, I basically looked at her like, like this, even though you couldn't see me because we were on the phone, but like my deaf stare was like saying like, what? Like, mom, I got a job. Mm. I might apply for like a, a job somewhere because I really would love to work as a UX designer yeah. um, and gain experience in the field to also incorporate it in my own business mm. and stuff. Um, so that will be basically the only reason I will do it or like also get a job as a photographer somewhere or a graphic designer or something like that. But only if it aligns with my brand values yeah, yeah, by itself and yeah. if I can make my own job still work um, yeah, and I want to have a day term, off per week. Yeah, so long long term, you're building something that's probably be better than if you Oh yeah, yeah. More than you have Like say for example, right now it would be tempting just to be like, oh, I'm just going to quit my business kind of thing mm. and go and work like nine to five because I could make more money. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, I will be stupid. I, yeah. Like I survived four and a half years already. And the first two years having your own business is like, yeah. it's the, you make it or you not make it. And the first two years are like, people drop, so many people drop out yeah. because like you get scared of like. It's hard. I mean, it's it's hard. Yeah. yeah. It's like. But yeah, if I like, I mean, you talked about it and I have a, a bit the same sometimes like there will be some people and they do it out of a good intention to protect mm-hmm. you, but I will tell you that's probably not a good idea. You should not do it. Yeah. It's just part of the process and uh, it's that balance between, yeah, listening to feedback, not being close, but at the same time, if you believe in yourself, just going for it and, and not letting people limit you, I guess. Yeah, that's how I see this. It's, like, it's good to listen to every opinion, I mm-hmm. feel like. Mm-hmm. Whatever you do after it, it's up to you. Like, yeah. um, There's no good, there's no bad yeah. opinion. It's just you have another opinion, I have another opinion, and then the next person has another opinion again. And yeah. it's just like, you take it in, you process it, and then you did learn so something, you did learn something, and yeah, then it will change you in the long run. But um, yeah, you never know. Cool. Which is cool. Good. Yeah. Um, so if you want to follow Santina on Instagram, yeah. what's your Instagram? It's santina.malacarne. So pretty easy. Just if you put in Santina, um, I come up first. It's the picture of me in a bikini. Mm. <laughs> in the CBD uh, yeah or it's not there as well yeah um, any other questions I think I'm good if someone has a question no, no. no but uh, <laughs> yeah I mean I think uh, yeah we could see with the comments mm-hmm. on the Instagram live like you yeah you get a lot of followers that really love to follow you so I think it's all yeah, it was quite spontaneous. So, like, I posted it at seven thirty. I was like, yeah. "Yo, I'm going to laugh at eight. I was like, "Whoops!" Should have maybe told them earlier. Yeah. So it was kind of like a hit and miss to get people mm. still 
listening to it mm. or not. Um, but it's good seeing like that you have these like true, honest followers who like love to yeah. see what you're doing. So I don't really call them followers. It's like, I always sound like, it sounds like yeah, downgrading. Like, like For me, this, they're yeah. like my people who, who inspire <clears throat> who inspire me yeah. and I hopefully inspire them. Like it's always, yeah, I just love engaging with mm. all these people around the world. So that's basically why I'm keep doing what I'm doing. Thanks, Antina. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Thanks uh, for listening. I actually no, I, I agree with you. I don't like that follower term. So we're going to brainstorm a new name for yeah. That's called follower. But, cool. Yeah. My friends, all my friends. Just brainstorm. <laughs> and have <dinner> yeah. <laughs> Gonna eat something now. I'm starving. He cooked vegan dinner for me. Yeah, vegan curry. Mm, I will figure out if it's good. You will see it on my Instagram. <laughs> Thanks, Andras. Uh, yeah, Andras, I'll probably see you tomorrow for another morning routine because with interest we do a hardcore morning routine thanks guys <laughs> <laughs> bye